What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. With the PlayStation 5 announced for the holidays for 2020, today I decided to share with you the top selling PlayStation 4 video games. Let's get right into this. Up first, we have Persona 5, which sold 2.7 million copies. It was originally released in Japan on September 15th, 2016, and eventually was released worldwide April 4th, 2017, almost seven months after its original release in Japan. Because it was so popular in Japan, that's why they decided to release it worldwide. It is more of a Japanese-style game, which I've never really been into Japanese-style games. I've never played any of the Persona games or basically any Japanese style game to begin with. But for it to sell so many copies, 2.7 million, and to be the 10th top selling game on the PlayStation 4, that for me is still pretty impressive. Next up is a game that I'm a huge fan of, I had a lot of fun with, and that is Detroit Become Human, which sold 3.2 million copies. It was released May 25th, 2018, and a couple months ago in 2019, uh, I think possibly over the summer of 2019, it was free for the PlayStation Plus here in at least North America. I'm not sure if it was in Europe and in uh, Japan, but I know in North America over the summer it was a free PS Plus game, and that's when I finally got it. I really wanted it whenever it first came out, but I was purchasing other games, and I couldn't really afford to just buy any game that I wanted. I've never really been able to do that. But whenever it became free for PlayStation Plus, I started to play it. It's a really good game. It has a really good story behind it. It is a decision-making game, and the decisions you make in the game actually matter, which I'm a huge fan of, because some decision-making games, you can make the decisions you want, but the game, the producers, are going to make the decisions for the game and have the game play out whichever way they want. Whereas, you could have one of the main characters in Detroit become human, get killed off early in the game, and then you have to basically go back and play through and see what that character can end up doing. But a lot of things can happen in the game and the choices you make actually matter. So I'm a huge fan of that. Next is Monster Hunter World, which I never really was into and never really got because it wasn't something that interests me. But it sold 4.6 million copies. It was released January 26, 2018, and it was very popular. Basically, you were just hunting monsters around the world, and it seems like it'd be a type of game that would be interesting, but it's just never something that caught my eye. Next up is The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. It sold 4.8 million copies. It was released May 19, 2015. Again, this is something that was very popular at the time it was released, but I've never played any of The Witcher games. I never really was into that. Back then, I was playing pretty much the same thing all the time. I had the type of games that I was into that came out every year or every couple of years that I would get, and I wasn't really trying new games or trying to see what else there was. So for this one to sell 4.8 million copies, it must have been good. It's just not something that I ever gave a try. Next up is Gran Turismo Sport. This one here sold 8 million copies. It was released October 17th, 2017. I believe in 20, either 2018, early 2018, it was free for PlayStation Plus, and that's whenever I got it. It's honestly a great game. I'm a huge fan of racing game. I've never really liked circuit racing and closed course racing. I'm more of street racing whenever it comes to video games, but Gran Turismo Sport is a great game. There's a lot of cars on it, a lot of great races to do, a lot of trophies you can get if you're a trophy hunter, and one of my favorite things for this game is the daily awards. So if you were to do 40 to 50 kilometers every day in races, and that's what you were able to pull off um, like throughout the whole day, not in a single race, then you were able to unlock your daily award and it basically spin and select one of four cars for you and you would get for that day. So I got a lot of great free cars on it. Instead of paying $450,000 for currency, you're able to potentially get one of those cars for free instead of paying the $450,000. So great way to get a lot of cars for your collection to be able to do certain races because certain races you need specific vehicles or certain class vehicles or anything like that. So that's why it was a lot of fun for me because you didn't just need to use one vehicle. Different races needed different vehicles. So 
For me, this is a great racing game. It's one of my favorite racing games of all time, not only on the PS4, but of all time. Next up is Horizon Zero Dawn, which sold 10 million copies. It was released February 28th, 2017. Now, this is something that's been on my radar for a long time. But back whenever it came out, I had so many other games that I was purchasing that I wanted to play. I didn't want to try anything new once again. But it is something that interests me and it is something that I plan on getting. It's just right now, I'm into shorter paced games. I'm into games like WWE and NHL where I can just have a couple games here and there before my next shift. Or some story games which I have backlogged right now. So I've heard and I've been recommended this game, but I've heard that... There is a lot to do in this game, and it's not something that I have the time to invest into right now. So if right now, there's no need for me to purchase this game, but it does. it is something that I want to purchase and want to give a try whenever I have the time to play a more in-depth and lengthy game. But for it to sell 10 million copies, it must have been a good game, so I definitely want to give it a try whenever I can. I think it's on the PlayStation Store for like 22 bucks. I just don't want... I, I Honestly, I can't justify paying that right now because I know I'm not going to be getting into it right now and I'm likely not going to start playing it for another couple months maybe even six months so I might as well just wait and pay for it then. Next up is God of War. This was the one that came out in April 20th 2018 and it sold over 10 million. Now it didn't give me an exact but it does say over 10 million. Now I've never really been into the God of War series. I never played any of the games because that whole niche of uh, big monsters and stuff like that where like I, I've never been into I never liked that type of game so it was something that a lot of people were into and for it to be so high on this list and to sell over 10 million copies is pretty impressive it's just never has been a game that I was interested in next up the third most selling game on the PlayStation 4 is The Last of Us Remastered. Originally, the first one came out on the PS3, and when the PS5, sorry, when the PS4 came out, they remastered it and put it on the PS4. Now, it also sold over 10 million copies. It doesn't specify exactly how many, on at least what I've seen, but it came out originally July 29th, 2014. Now, if I remember correctly, whenever the PS4 originally came out, The Last of Us Remastered was a digital game that was included with every bundle at the time it came out. Now, whenever I first got my PS4, I didn't get the launch one. I got it a year after it came out, just so all the glitches and everything were out, and there was a price drop, but it might included it as well. So I think a lot of these, out of this 10 million, a lot of them, I would say, would be ones that technically it did sell. It came with the system, but you got it in a bundle. You didn't purchase it on its own. So I know it came out like that, and I know October 2019th, it was actually a free PS Plus game, which also contributed to how many copies was sold. Honestly, it's a great story, I love the campaign for it, but the online for this game absolutely sucked, because it was basically like Call of Duty, where you played against players, but there's absolutely no zombies, not much to do, you just have guns and you basically kill your enemy like a team deathmatch. So online sucked, the campaign was amazing. I did like the game, never finished it. I might try to get back into it one of these days, but like I said earlier in this video, I have a lot of games on backlog right now. I don't have time to invest into certain games or going back and playing some of my old ones right now at least. Next up, the second top selling game on the PlayStation 4 is a game that came out September 7th, 2018, and that is Marvel's Spider-Man, which sold 13.2 million copies. This here is one of my favorite games that I've played on the PlayStation 4. It's a lot of fun, but it is very short of game. It took me about two weeks to complete it, not only complete it, but also to platinum it and get all the side missions done and all of the trophies for the game completes. But it is a really fun game, and if you have yet to play it, I definitely would recommend it because there's so much you can do in the game. It is honestly a lot of fun. But the mechanics for this game are so more advanced than any other, not only Spider-Man game that I've played, but also superhero game. It's open world, so you don't have to just do the main story. You can do a lot of the side missions. It's not focused on you have to do one thing and you, have, you can't go any further until you complete that one thing. The web slinging abilities in this game are amazing. The combat is amazing. This game here 
is one of my favorite games on the PlayStation 4. If I had to rank it, I would rank it probably 10 out of 10 for me. It is just that great of game. And for it to be the, the second top selling PlayStation 4 game, that says a lot right there. And the number one top selling PlayStation 4 game is Uncharted 4 A Thief's End, which sold 16 million copies. It was released May 10th, 2016. I was a huge fan of the Uncharted series back on the PlayStation 3. I did own the first three Uncharted games. I did not play the third one. I played the first two and never played the third one. For the PlayStation 4, whenever I got it way back, like I said, I got the Last of Us Remastered Bundle, and mine also included the Nathan Drake Collection, but I have yet to play it on the PlayStation 4. But for having Uncharted 4, top selling game it makes me want to get uncharted 4 but if i do that i do want to play the third one because i do own it but if i'm going to play the third one i might as well go back and play the first two in order then play the third one which i have yet to play and then play uncharted 4 at thief's end which i honestly like i've already mentioned i don't have time right now to go back and play that much that's why i have yet to play it on the playstation 4 because i want to play it from the first game and i just don't have time to invest into play it at this time but I plan on getting it I plan on trying it in the future hopefully before the PlayStation 5 comes out which is announced for the holidays for 2020 but it's definitely a game because of uh, relic hunting and exploring and different things like that I like and having that in the video game I always thought that was interesting it was fun whenever I played it on the PlayStation 3 definitely want to try it on the PS4 and definitely want to try Uncharted 4 which I've yet to play but these are the top selling PlayStation 4 video games. I am really surprised with some of them. Spider-Man's with it being released September 7th, 2018 and to sell 13.2 million copies is really impressive. It is a great game, but that also has to do with Marvel being such a huge franchise. And I think with the success of this game, I expect to see more Marvel games in the future. After this game, there was Iron Man VR that came out and Avengers is set for 2020 as well. So I think we're going to see a lot more Marvel super games, superhero games in the future. And it's going to be pretty exciting to see. But I'm going to leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys for the next one. Please take care. Peace.